What's good Skins fans? So I know yesterday was the first preseason game. I wanted to make a video after the game, but I was just too tired and I was bit I was also busy too as well. So I wanna talk about our first preseason games and some bright spots. Final score was thirty to ten. We lost to Cleveland preseason, all of that. Some brights the one I get I I think clearly unanimously the MVP of that game was Jimmy Moreland, the seventh round rookie out of JMU. That guy is a baller. He forced two fumbles. Literally like single handedly made a goal line stand by himself. The guy played extremely well. He put all his effort out there and I couldn't ask for more. Like I, I he's definitely he should make the fifty three man roster. He has to be making the fifty three man roster. And I think he should start too. That guy is a baller, man. Shout out to that guy is a steal. He has a lot of potential. And another spot of the team was also Cole Holcomb. He had that tackle downfield that almost cost us a touchdown, but that tackle actually made, had us, um, Jimmy Moreland caused a fumble on that fourth and goal, and all because of that, because of Cole Holcomb, because he didn't let that guy score on the touchdown. So defensive players play well uh, when it comes to Holcomb and Moreland. Now, or the biggest topic is probably how Dwayne Haskins performed. Um, at times, he had some great passes, like the first play-action pass, that was a great throw. The He also had a great throw to Kidzie Jr., who fumbled the ball. That was not Dwayne's fault, but his first interception, was, which was a pick six, that was his fault. I th I think um the running back, I think it was Marshall. I don't know if it was a wheel route, if I look back at it, but I think Dwayne should have... um. Try to hit it more, put some more arc on it. Something somebody said that he doesn't put more zip in the ball. If it's that too, his foot. It's just it's rookie. It's rookie issues. Um, and also he had another interception, which was, I think it was a terrible throw. Uh, and the poor guy was behind like our third string offensive lineman. So that's another thing. Um, this is no reason to panic, guys. It's preseason. That guy needs to learn. We as Redskins fans would rather see him make mistakes now than later because he's learning from this well i know a lot of fans are, I know yesterday daniel jones went five for five on his first drive that's the only drive he played and scored a touchdown or i'm saying oh never mind daniel jones is better than Dwayne haskins it's preseason man you gotta give the guy time he has to learn it's better and it's really better for him to learn this process now and i think another bright spot i mean case keenum didn't play great but he did do he stepped up in the pocket he got that first down he scrambled uh, oh, sorry, going back to Haskins, he did uh, a lot of scouts out of college coming into the draft question his mobility. The guy, he, I remember he had a spin move out of the pocket, almost to a touchdown to Cam Sims, but Cam Sims dropped it. And also he had a scramble for a first down, and he was running, I mean, he was running pretty good. So the mobility, I think it's there. Just learning the mechanics, throwing better, reading it, throwing in the coverage, I think he'll, he'll, he'll develop into the season. Uh, another, some people that we didn't see, Terry McLaurin, I think he only played one play. I wanted to see him play, but it's okay. I think the coaching staff didn't want him to play. Guys didn't play. Our, our defensive line didn't play. Uh, this is just preseason, guys. We should not overreact. This is just the rookies getting their feet wet and hopefully understanding how football works and the NFL, how way different it is from college. Um, who else am I thinking about? Cam Sims, I don't think he had a lot of opportunities. I think that... I just I I don't think um, Haskins threw. Uh, I think he only had one. I think Sims only had. Well, there's two Sims on the team. There's Cam Sims and this. I forgot this guy. His also his name Sims and he wears number fifteen. Cam wears eighty nine. So um, the thing that I was talking about is uh, the Robert Davis touchdown. I want to talk about that. That was blown coverage, but I'm happy to see Robert Davis score a touchdown. I felt bad for the guy. He broke his leg on his. I think it was rookie year. Out for the year of recovery, and I hope I want him to make the fifty three man roster, but we'll see. Other than that, the uh, Woodrum didn't look as as good as we thought. I mean, it's Woodrum. I think Chase Woodrum, that's his name is. But yeah, he didn't look that good. But yeah, I know a lot of people are freaking out about Haskins. Don't worry, guys. This is he's going to learn, and we'd rather want him to make these mistakes now than later in the future. So yeah, guys. Um, next week, um, I think we have another. Pr yeah, next week, I forgot who we're playing. Let me touch that right now. Uh. Oh wait, no, let me just stretch up Redskins. Okay, so next week we are playing the Bengals at FedEx Field, so that'll be fun to watch. Hopefully, we see Haskins get more reps and hopefully play better and learn from those mistakes he made in Cleveland. And yeah, guys, that's all the things I wanted to talk about. Jimmy Moreland, Cole Holcomb, bright spots right there. And also, oh, I forgot to talk about West Martin. I don't know why he played at the end of the game, but that guy was playing pretty good. I like him. West Martin, Cole Holcomb, Jimmy Moreland, the players of the game.
all right guys that's all i want to talk about uh subscribe if you're new leave a comment and see if you want and uh, yeah. leave a comment and like talk about anything you like you the takeaways you thought of the game and how'd you think of haskins performance subscribe if you're new leave a like and yeah all right y'all peace